What's going on, y'all? This is a very sensitive, passionate topic to me. You know what I mean? Um, we've gone through so much in our lives. We've gone through so much as far as, you know, trials and tribulations, things that got us to this point right now. You know, our scars that we deal with in the darkness that nobody knows about until we bring them to the light. You know, we've gone through so much to get to this point right now. And I'm talking to all my people that has pushed through, that's content creators, those people that's, you know, pushing to try to make their own brand their brand. And I want to let you guys know this right now. We have no time for unsupported friends and unsupported family at this point in our life. In 2020, if we do not have people around us that want to support us, they do not need to be in our lives. And that's point blank, period. People nowadays are justify why they don't support you or why they don't care about you or why they don't feed into your craft and things of that nature and stop taking that bullshit. I can't stress enough how hard it is for us to get to this point. As me being a content creator, as me being a clothing line designer, as me being CEO of my own brand, as me pushing forward for everything that I'm doing in my life. If I don't have people around me supporting me to help me get to where I need to be at, they do not need to be in my life. And I and understand, I'm not saying that people can financially support, I'm not saying people can, can you know, comment on every video that I have, but I'm saying it's you being a content creator and that's me being a person. We don't have time for people that are unsupportive, people that do not believe in our dreams, people that do not want to help us succeed our dreams. People will be out here right nowadays buying Jordans, Kyrie's, Yeezy's, iTunes, Netflix, and Hulu, things that have no preference on their life, things that they don't really care about, but, but they won't help support their friends. They won't help believe in their friends. They won't help fund their friends. They won't help their friends get over the top, but they'll watch. They'll watch. People have been so subjected that double tapping the picture means something. Well, it's more than that. Stop allowing people to feed you words and not actions. We are on action time 2020. People need to put actions behind their words. Stop allowing people to say, yeah, this is fire, that is fire. Stop allowing people to tell you things that are, they believe in you and stuff like that. Put it behind your actions. That is the biggest thing. It takes nothing for a person to repost, to comment, to share, to spread the word, to talk about it. It takes nothing for a person to do that. And so many people have such a tough time doing that. And we struggle and we allow these people to stay a part of our lives and a part of this journey. And it and, and kind of hinder us down and hold us down as a backpack that has a bunch of bricks in it. That's stopping us from getting over the top. We're right there at the top trying to cross over. And people are holding us down because they don't believe in us. Because they don't support us. But what are they there for? Let me explain something to you. If you have friends in your life that do not support you, that do not help you get anywhere in your life, and do not help, help you financially, that have never got you help you get over the hump, you do not need them in your life right now. They need to be out of your life. Where you at in 2020, this is the time that you need to see all of your, your blessings flourish. See all of the seeds that you put flourish. Everything that you harvested last year, you need to see flourish. If people are in time where they want to be stuck in their lives and not be better for them, do not let them put this on you. That is not your job. That is not your fault. You need to get your ass up and get over this hump. Those people need to be by themselves. When you die, you're going to die by yourself. When you were born, you was born by yourself. I don't care if you was even a twin. You have to understand this, that it takes us so much to get to the point that we have to get over these humps. Do you understand those scars that you went through? Those crying battles that you went through? Those times when you thought nobody believed in you? Those times when you had those lonely nights and nobody was there for you? You couldn't talk to nobody about nothing that you was going through? That's where you at right now. You should not allow these people to be a part of your life if they do not have an impact on your life right now. What are you doing? Would you be sitting inside of a room full of billionaires talking about twerking? No, you be talking about money. You be talking about getting over the hump. You are you are marketing yourself every day. You are branding yourself every day. You have an image to uphold every day. If you're on social media, watching all these TV shows and doing all this stuff, and you haven't done nothing with your life, you are wasting your life. And what are you doing? You don't have those supportive friends? I'll be your supportive friend. But stop allowing these people to be a part of your life that do not help you get over this hump. It takes so much for us to get to this point in our life that we just, we just, we just throw it away. We just waste it. We allow these people to be around for this journey and they are not affecting our journey at all. So many people have taken up so much time in my life and so much time over the course of time and have never benefited me at all. And I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I guess I, you know, at, at this time I was a charity case and I was just holding on to people and a lot of people just to, just to implement their, their, their thoughts and their visions and things like that. No, no. Stop allowing people to tell you these BS excuses of why they don't support you or these BS reasons why they don't support you. If people support you, they're going to support you no matter what. No matter what, no matter what, people are not going to understand where you at in your life. People will never understand. The thing about it is, is that you're probably watching this video like, oh, he's just talking, he's just rambling. But people, most people are going to watch this video and think that I'm crazy talking about what I'm talking about. It's going to be like, yo, Matt, you know, I hear you talking about, you know, listen, my craft is the biggest thing in my life. Let me explain to you, me pursuing my dreams is the hardest thing in my life because it's a lonely life. And no matter how you look at it, no matter how many females you see coming into my pictures, no matter how many females you see coming into my YouTube, the thing about it is, is that getting to this point in my life is so hard because... Not a lot of people understand my craft, understand the trials and tribulations and the scars that I have that got me to this point right now. And people don't understand you and stop allowing people to tell you that they understand you when they don't understand you. We have no time for unsupported friends, unsupported family 2020. We have no time for it. Stop wasting your time and allowing people to just stick around for no reason. You worked this hard to get to this point and just quit? To let somebody just come in and just tear your walls down? Do you know who you are? You are a blessing. You are a walking testimony. You have to be that. Don't be nothing else. I find it so crazy that people that I've known for years, people that have been a part of my circle, people that have been around me, that have seen me come from nothing 
and you know I start to build my own brand still don't support me but people that I've never met people from Kansas people from Florida people from Missouri people from Spain people from DR people support me that have never met me that have never met me and I'm not saying buying items I'm not saying I'm not saying it in the least most. I'm saying they have affected in so many different other ways. They have given me ideas. They have they have implemented prayers for me. They have they have taken a, a hold of my career and have jumped on this bandwagon and they said they believe and they're showing me that they believe behind their actions. Not telling me that they just believe, they're showing me that they believe. And let me explain something to you. If you have people around you that don't support you, like you have people that actually support you that don't know you, how is it that people that don't know you support you more than people that do know you? You ever wondered that? You ever wonder why they don't support you? And don't tell me that they're busy. Don't tell me that they got too much going on in their life. Don't tell me that they consume, that they're in their own world. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you out here watching any of these TV shows, these use or these Stranger Things, any of these things that you watch, you watch any NBA basketball season, any, any of that stuff, and these people are not supporting you, why are they your friends? And I know it might seem harsh, like, you know, why are they, what else are they doing in your life? You got these people around you, you got these people giving off this type of energy, you got these people in your space, in your area, what are they doing to benefit you, to help you get over this hump? How are they helping you feed into your dreams? How are they helping you plant every seed that you've planted and watch it flourish? If they wasn't there through those trials and tribulations and helping you get through those scars and help you bandage up your own wounds and help you help you with your own mental health, then why are they there now? You're, you're hoarding people that don't benefit you. I used to be a big hoarder, I had to, but I had to clean myself. I, 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 had to, I had to get rid of things. Are you a hoarder? You have to ask yourself that. Are you allowing yourself to be in a situation where you're keeping people around that don't have no reason to be around? What are they around for? Because of history? Because they played a role back then? I worked too hard to get to this point right now. I was saying, oh, you changed, you switched up. I worked too hard to stay the same. This is 2020. We in a whole new decade. This year is, this year is going to change my life. This decade is going to change my life. My life is going to take off. Is your life going to take off? Or are you going to keep watching around and allowing these people to stick around? We have no time for unsupported friends and unsupported family right now. What are you waiting for? It's not even about a game. It's not even about laughter. And, but, but we two weeks into the year, and this, this, this video is going to change lives. This video is going to last through January, February, March, April, all the way to December. It's going to last in 2021, 2022, 2023. People are going to be watching this video like, yo, listen, this person changed my life because I watched this video. Because there's no reason that this person is in my life and they've been in my life for this long and they have never supported me. Support comes in all forms and facets. But if you know that you are friends with somebody that's branding or somebody that's pushing forward or somebody that's trying it, and you're not supporting them, do them a favor and leave them alone. Do them a favor and leave their life. Because whatever you're dealing with, whatever pro problems that you're not helping get to this, leave them alone. All you're doing is holding this person back. All you're doing is stopping this person. And for the person that's watching this and you are a content creator, for the person that's watching this and you are a brand, for the person that's watching this and you're trying to push yourself forward and everybody's chastising you and breaking you down and telling you what you can't be and telling me what you need, let me explain something to you. You have a friend in me. You have a supporter in me. And I don't give a damn what nobody else is saying. You have that in me. You make sure you don't never quit on yourself. You make sure you don't never give up on yourself. Because where you at right now, I know where you at right now. Because I'm there right now and I deal with it every day. You know what I mean? Nights, I'm up late at night. Create more content. Do better. Be better. Push more. Push more. Make more. This is my mindset every night. I don't have time to be focusing on IG stories or what this one is posting or what this one is dealing with or what this one is. I don't have time for that. You don't have time for that either. People want to get caught up in wasting their lives away and, you know, chasing after God, chasing after a girl. That's not me. That's not where I'm at right now. Let me explain something to you right now. As a, as a CEO of my own, as a brand ambassador of my own, as me creating my own, it took me hell and high water to get to this point right now. And I'll be damned if I'm, I'm surrounded by people that do not support me and do not care about where I'm at in my life and where I'm at with my brand. Understand how much it took you to get to this point. Take some time to yourself and think about your testimony. Think about your scars. Think about your trials. Think about the tribulation that you had to go through. Think about everything that got you to this point. Think about all these years you had these people around you that don't support you. That claim they support you and tell you that they did a little bit of things over the course of five years, three years, two years. Seriously? You know how many people are dying to support you? You know how many people, many people just want to meet you and they haven't even discovered you yet? You stay true to you. You stay consistent. Fuck what anybody else is talking about. We ain't got time for that. We don't have time for unsupported friends and unsupported family in 2020. We ain't got time for it. We too busy chasing the bag. We too busy staying out of our feelings and getting the bag. Focus on that. People gonna tell you what you're thinking about is wrong. People gonna tell you, you know, it's, it, oh, oh, you shouldn't treat me like that. You shouldn't treat me like that. You support people that you don't even know. You believe in people you don't even know. You fund people you don't even know. And you know me. And you don't support me the same way you support people you don't know. What does that say about you? You're more caught up in this psychological thing about society that you, you're not even supporting the friend that's in front of you. But the thing about it is, it's going to be one day that you're going to look up and you're going to be like, yo, I knew this person. I was just friends with this person. And I had no impact on who this person is. That's going to say more about you 
than it ever will say about me. Everybody that's watching this video, I pray over your life. I hope that you guys get everything that you want, everything that you're pushing for. But enough is enough. We have no time for unsupported friends and unsupported family in 2020. Never forget that. All right? Hope you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, let me know what you're thinking. All right? Peace.